Hello, just getting started with the upgrades on my Ibanez guitar and I figured I'd start with the easy jobs first so I'm just replacing these machine heads they simply unbolt from the guitar quite easily and they're going to be replaced with my Goto machine heads which are locking machine heads so the string goes through and you just twist the back and it clamps the string uh, the Goto ones have little screws in every single machine head, so you bolt it in. Um, just going to do those finger tight, and then going to align them all, and put the little screws in the back into the head. And I've got some little tiny drill bits, so it's quite easy for me to just get a hole started for the screw to go in. You see, these are black. Uh, the nut's been replaced with the black nut and the string retainer with a black string retainer. The nut though, I used the original screw holes from the previous nut and I see that this one doesn't, it's not sitting snug, snugly against the fretboard so I'm going to have to undo that, fill the holes in, then uh, put new holes in and uh, re-screw it in so that it's uh, tight up against the fretboard. A little bit of a pain but I'm sure we'll manage the next job to do while the strings are off the guitar is just to polish the frets up and this little kit that I bought off eBay has some guards to guard the fretboard from the wet and dry and a range of wet and dryers between 1500 coarseness to 15,000 coarseness so the 15,000 coarseness uh, isn't going to take much off the frets at all um, you start off with the coarser grades and just move through them until you've got a nicely polished fret should make it a little bit smoother to to bend the strings etc but uh, for some reason they don't use hardened steel on guitars these are nickel steel which is still hard but will probably wear over time whereas stainless steel wouldn't wear out at all uh, I'm not quite sure whether that's to save cost or uh, because you might want to shave frets down perhaps to uh, stop them buzzing but my Parker fly guitar has all stainless steel frets and that feels very very comfortable to bend strings on and it doesn't show anywhere at all despite the guitar being 25 years old so I'm just moving up here to a different grade of wet and dry slightly daunting part of this job is to do the wiring inside the guitar I'm not very comfortable with electrics to be honest but I think you just have to be logical and systematic with it so I'm unscrewing the scratch plate and the pickups are attached to this scratch plate and there's a piece of recess in the guitar with the wiring in and I don't really know what's going to face me when I take this off but just un undo the screws and we'll take a look inside Well, fast forwards, I've got this on my bench. After disconnecting the ground wires, you can actually take the scratch plate away from the guitar. And I'm looking at the original pickups and how they join on. And then I'm going to replicate that with the new pickups, which I've actually attached now to the scratch plate. And I've got a new volume knob as well. So I've attached the new volume knob and I'm just going to move the connections over one at a time until they all match where the old ones were so we've got four leads per pickup um, one of these pickups the wire colors are slightly different I know that the orange is the signal wire so that replaces the red one and I'm just gonna have to work out the rest and that's what it looks like when it's all back together we've got a 
a gap at there underneath that nut so that that's going to have to be altered um, I just put two strings on so that I could test whether the pickups work and at the moment I've got the, the crunch pickups working the one at the bridge the one at the neck is not working so it needs a little bit of jiggery pokery rolling on about three weeks and I've just got my guitar back from Aluthia I figured that Aluthia would be able to set it up better than I could and he pointed out a few things I didn't realize like this Floyd Rose needed shims underneath the first second fifth and sixth um, bridge to kind of flatten out the strings a bit because it's a fairly flat neck on the, the Ibanez he sunk the uh, pickups right down into the guitar so that they balance with the uh, middle pickup and he had to rewire the uh, lace pickup apparently the wiring is different on the lace than the uh, standard pickup and uh, the switch didn't like it or something don't really understand but uh, it's done in the end uh, he's also gone over the frets a little bit and we had some trouble with the nut uh, the nut I had to shave down on um, wet and dry. I was frightened of not taking enough off because it was quite a slow process. So I kind of did a bit every day. It turns out oh, I've taken a little bit much off because uh, I can see a shim underneath. But this means that the strings are the correct height at that end. Plays lovely. The intonation's all set up and everything. Put a magnet on the back of the head there to hold my Allen key. Uh, that's something that Steve Meyer does. So I just got a bit of copper and kind of wrapped it around the magnet and screwed it on because uh, I didn't want to drill the magnet. And it's also these um, machine heads. I didn't realise that they were all different height posts, so um, they needed swapping around. Uh, that will do nicely. So I'm quite happy with that now. New volume knob which works perfectly, and this is a nice playable guitar. Thanks for watching.